Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and man do I have a treat for you guys today, because one squad finds three flare guns in a single game. That's right, thanks to Kalshik, who uh, sent in this replay, he's a huge fan of the channel, he said, our squad ran into three flare guns, we used two for super airdrops, one for an armored UAZ, which is a beast, it's probably the fastest vehicle, because you can drive it over 120 kilometers per hour, even after two sh tires have been shot out of it. So again, thank you to Kalshik for providing this, hopefully I'm saying your name right, and uh, yeah, this is just an insane game. So what makes this even more impressive is in 0.8.0, flare guns have become a lot more difficult to find. Uh, there was a time about 24, 36 hours after the maintenance for 0.8.0 was completed where people were still playing 0.7.5 and flare guns were pretty easy to find if you drop places like Novo, Georgia Paul, uh, Pachinki, military base, but no longer in 0.8.0, finding even one is rather difficult. So the fact that a squad found three of them at the same time um, is just insane. So you can see here that they shot two up into the sky. I'm going to be talking a little bit about how the flare gun works in this video too. You can see that you can only, you're only supposed to be able to fire it into the sky. And uh, basically it shoots up a flare which enemies can see from a few hundred meters away. And that will draw people to your location. So be aware of that. And after a few uh, seconds, after around 30 seconds or so, a supply drop plane spawns and flies over at a low altitude and drops out a package which has three, look at that, you can see the third flare burning right now and it has three parachutes. So these are the super airdrops which are coming in first. This is what you get if you use the flare um, inside the play zone. So if you're inside the current play zone, that's when you get a super airdrop. A super airdrop contains two crate only weapons, full level three armor and a healing item. And man, is it good. It also has yellow smoke. So people are wondering what does yellow smoke mean on a drop? That means it's a super airdrop, uh, which you get from shooting up a flare gun into the sky. Now, if you want a video on when uh, or where you can find flare guns, definitely let me know. Check that out. There's the healing item, uh, adrenaline syringe. Uh, there's also an M24 as well as an AWM and the appropriate ammo full level three gear. So it really, you can basically, you're set for the game if you just loot one of these other than needing more healing items and some more ammo. But as far as weapons and armors go, you're pretty much set just from looting one. So if you want a video on how to find the flare gun, definitely let me know. A number of other people have already been doing these. So if it's already been covered, you guys don't feel like I need to, um, then I won't. But yeah, that's how flare guns work. So right now you can see they're inside the current play zone or the next play zone. Um, you can see that from the bottom right of the mini map there, they're already in the yellow or uh, white rather circle uh, and I have a feeling that after this current zone closes they're going to have to travel to get to the next zone so if they fire off that third flare gun after this current zone closes and the next one is revealed if they're outside of it that's when you get the armored UAZ so you get one of two things from the flare gun depending on when you fire it and uh, basically the armored UAZ is exactly as it sounds it is a normal UAZ however it has armored plating on it and uh, that means that you cannot shoot out of it. So people are wondering, is it bugged? Um, and they'll be showing this later in the video, but basically people are asking me, can you shoot out of the armored UAZ? No, because well, it has armor on the windows, so you can't stick your head through them like you could do with a normal vehicle. So you can see our player here is injecting that adrenaline syringe. He already has a good number of other healing items, full level three. Um, he did not take the M249, so he's going to stick with the M4, but he did take the AWM, and there's also, I believe, an 8x scope in there. So an AWM plus an 8x scope is a pretty deadly combination for sure. So, yeah, the flare gun is definitely a very, very interesting dynamic element that was added to the game in 0 0.8.0, and uh, definitely just a fun, fun thing to uh, play around with if you are lucky enough to find one. Now, in squads, it does take a little bit of planning, definitely, and that's because, well, you want to use it at a time that is the most beneficial. Um, do you want that weapon and armor from the super airdrop or those weapons and armor from the super airdrop, or do you think you'd be better suited with a bulletproof UAZ, which is not bulletproof, by the way. Uh, it can still blow up. It could still get damaged. Uh, the tires can get shot out of it, just like a normal UAZ. It's just uh, more bullet resistant than a normal vehicle. So you know how the normal UAZ has a rather large window on the back of it that you can get shot through? 
Well, this one uh, with the armor plating, you take greatly reduced damage. So even though you still take damage, um, it is greatly reduced versus what you would see in a normal vehicle. So it looks like they're just going to be talking it out right now, figuring out do they want to use this final flare right now or uh, do they want to consider saving it for later in the game because again when you fire this into the sky it is very very visible so if you see something on the horizon burning red in a 0 0.8.0 match uh, the flare gun can be found on any map so it can be found on miramar sanok or orangle and it works very much the same way on every map too so if you see this from like i said a couple hundred meters away you know that there's someone real because I'm pretty sure bot, bots got a lot smarter in 0.8.0, but I'm pretty sure they cannot shoot a flare gun. So, uh, or even if even if they could, though, I mean, just know that wherever this flare is burning, there are people there. So, if you're hunting kills, or if you want to steal the great equipment that they're going to get from the super airdrop or that um, bullet resistant UAZ, then uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity to maybe set up on the ridge line and ambush them. So you can see there is that special plane that flew over. You can see the flare burns a little bit longer than it takes for the plane to fly over. So you, I'm pretty sure the, the flare burns for about a minute. Um, and it's about 30 seconds before the plane is summoned. So now we can expect a bulletproof or bullet resistant. I'm going to interchange the name just because I don't like calling it bulletproof when it can blow up and when um, you can get shot through it. But you can see it is also coming down on three parachutes. The other, um, well, if three parachutes, more visible than one. So again, you know, you're really drawing attention to yourself when you're firing these off. And if you're outside the zone, it's not a big deal because nobody's probably going to go outside the zone to attack you um, just to get this. But if you're inside the zone, then just be aware that it's going to draw a ton of attention. So here is that armored UAZ. You can see the armor on the back windows, on the side windows, on the front window, and on the grill. But you can see that it still has a normal tire. So it doesn't, I don't know if it really has like run flat tires or anything. Uh oh, there it goes. A player gets knocked down. Um, and you can see, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, see, some players are taking damage. So they're taking damage even though they're getting shot at, um, even though they're inside the super UAZ. And it looks like they're actually going to have to run here. Yep. So unfortunately, they are leaving their teammate behind. You can see that the UAZ has lost two tires. It's still driving very fast, so that is an advantage over a normal one. But you can see that they did take damage, even though they were inside it, and the vehicle also took damage. Now, I am pretty sure that the Bulletproof UAZ, or whatever you want to call it, the Super Airdrop UAZ, uh, does have more health than a standard one. I don't know how much more health, look at that rubber banding, um, but I don't know how much more health it has versus a standard vehicle. Um, but I would imagine it's probably, if I had to randomly guess, I'd imagine it's around double or so. So you can see, you can still easily blow it up if you have an entire squad shooting at it, but... Um, there's another UAZ of an enemy. Okay, interesting. And you see that you know with this bolt uh, resistant one, you cannot shoot out of it. So they actually have to jump out of the vehicle and take up a position versus being able to shoot out and engage. Um, there is our player with the AWM. Let's see if he can make use of that AWM with the A time scope. Uh, great advantage of the of the oh nice shot there of the UAZ is that you are able to uh, use it as cover though. So it's great hard cover because it's very difficult for somebody to shoot through it with all that armor plating on it. So not sure if this is a squad. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have game sound here, but I don't, I'm not sure if this is a squad that uh, was engaging them before who's shooting at the back of the UAZ or if this is just another squad that rolled up on them. But either way, see there's a nice knockout with that M4. Either way, it looks like they're going to be able to uh, scare away these people or uh, clean them up. Let's see there with the AWM. Nice. Yeah, you do not want to go prone. I mean, it, He's within render distance, um, so the grass is rendering, but he just saw exactly where he dropped prone, so very easy to get that kill. And that was a full squad, too. Very nice. But uh, unfortunately, they did lose that one member who was knocked out before he uh, was able to get into the UAZ. 
So you can take a look at that UAZ uh, that is part there and you can see how exposed you are. And this is the hardtop variety. So this is the, the you know best armored one as far as normal vehicles go. But you can see especially that back window is rather large. And if you're driving away from an engagement, it's pretty easy for people to shoot you through that back window and knock you out or knock your passengers out. So definitely let me know in the comments down below, how do you guys plan to use the flare gun? Now that you know that you can get two unique um, items or drops from it, do you plan on saving it for uh, when the zone's gonna be coming in and you wanna get that armored UAZ to drive into the zone, be able to get there safer? Or are you planning to use it in a, uh, like a remote location inside the zone to try to get that super airdrop with those awesome weapons and armor? Or maybe you're planning on just you know, shooting it up as a distraction, no intention to loot it, but just shooting it up and then immediately, you know, running up the hill and then sniping all the people who come for it. I don't know. I mean, I think that's certainly a viable strategy too, is just using the super airdrop as bait. You know, I mean, I think that there's going to be a lot of attention when one of these um, goes up, you know, shoots up over the sky and you see that flare burning, especially with the update being very new. I think that uh, multiple teams might come to check it out, see what's happening. And if you set up an ambush, you could use it as a, uh, as a very defensive thing. I see here that he's explaining how you can easily climb hills, even with the two rear wheels missing, it's still driving very well. And uh, I'd imagine this is just a characteristic. I'm not sure entirely if this is a bug or not, but I'd imagine it's a characteristic of the super UAZ. It's just a um, all around better performer. So We'll see what sort of speed he can get on it as they are driving it up. And I'd imagine that they found all the flare guns in the military base or around it, maybe Novo and military together. Uh, he didn't mention where he looted these, but he did use all of them around military. So you see, look at that, over 120 kilometers per hour. Granted, they are going downhill right now, but still impressive for sure. And uh, I, I think the fuel tank's about the same, so... I'd imagine that that would be standard, but the health might be higher. So let me know in the comments down below, like I said before, if you want to see any more videos on the flare gun um, or where to find it, or if you want uh, any more specifics on what you can get out of them, you know, we'll go from there. So my name's Derek G. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for tons more PUBG mobile content. And I hope to see you on the battlefield soon or in my Discord server, which I'll also leave a link to down below.